Hi, I'm Ray Scott, and welcome to Visual Art Photography. You know, even before we get going today, I just want to mention something. This is the 100th video on this channel, and it happens to coincide with the fact that the channel's been up for four years. So at this time, I would like to take a moment to thank you so much for joining me on this channel. You know, over the years, so many of you have contacted me and uh, said so many kind words, and I just want to say thank you so much. It really, really means a lot. You know, one of the things that means the most to me is when you tell me that somehow the channel has inspired you to get out there with your camera. Well, you know something? It's a two-way street because when you contact me and when we talk back and forth, that inspires me so much to keep the channel going. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for viewing. Just thank you for being there. All right, today on visual art photography, we're going to be taking a look at, for lack of a better term, dream photos or dreamy photos or dream state type of photos. I've got eight great tips to help you create dreamy photos. For quite a few of the tips today, I have done tutorials in the past. So if that's the case, and I've done a tutorial, when I talk about the tip, I'll put a banner up at the top of the screen, and you can click on that and go to that video if you care to. All right? So dream photos today on visual art photography. So tip number one, the first way we're going to look at creating a dream effect for our photos is infrared. And as you can see, that banner has appeared at the top and you can click on that if you're not sure how to do infrared photography. Of course infrared was done with film for years and now we can do it through various softwares. It really adds a different effect. It looks like snow and it's not. Same thing here and to add to the surrealism of this to give it even more of a dream effect I've composited a balloon a hot air balloon up there as well because none of it makes any sense to the eye right so that's one way of doing it. Tip number two, add a glow. Now here I've got a glow, but I've also got infrared with color and it's a canal and it's surreal. It's very, very dreamlike and it gives a completely different feel to your photography. If you're looking for that kind of an effect, here's more of a glow, more of a glow, factory building. So you can see that we have different things. We had a canal with glowing trees that were different colors. All right. And now you've got this and then you've got this. So different type types of, uh, of subject matter. Fog also works really, really well for that dreamy effect. Fog. It's very mysterious. Adds a completely different feel to the photo. Fog more of it. So be on the lookout for that if you're looking for dreamlike photos. Now, shallow depth of field. Now, if you're using a, a you know, f2.8 or f2 or whatever you've, you've got, f4 even, depending on what your lens is like, a shallow depth of field can soften just about everything except maybe what you're focusing on. So that shallow depth of field, be looking for that when you're trying to create a certain soft, dreamy feel. Same thing here. Works great with flowers and other things too. Don't forget to use angles. Now angles, that's tip number five here in our dreamlike photo uh, subject today and putting things on an angle, purposely putting things on sharp angles. It's very surreal, right? I mean, you're not going to walk down the street and, and it looks like this. And if it does, you're in some kind of trouble. That's for sure. So very dreamlike because in dreams, things can happen that are the strangest. So using angles, how about this one where I've combined three photos with all of these wild staircases and they're all at different angles and it's a riot of just something completely different and something that you may only encounter in a dream or in your photography. Angles again, using a tree, but 
What makes it into kind of a dreamlike effect? Well, it's the, it's the deep, dark shadows, that's for sure. It's the angle, that's for sure. But it's also that sun popping through between those branches, and that adds an effect to color. Tip six, you can use color. Blue. This was shot during the daytime on a rather overcast day, just a little bit of something coming through there in terms of sun, but it looks like the moon, really, doesn't it? And I've tinted it blue so that it gives that effect of something that's a little bit dreamlike. Certainly a little bit like nighttime anyway. More color in this shot in the forest up north from here with some spectacular fall colors and also some background color that I actually added is you can see the mauve through the sky there and it almost looks like something out of like an Alice in Wonderland thing or something but it's it's surreal it's not exactly uh real if you know what I mean it's a little bit dreamlike and of course that branch that gnarled branch coming down from the top adds to it as well so that's color you can use that too and don't forget motion motion can add a lot to your photos in terms of making them dreamlike now here's a, this is at the amusement park and i've got about a 20 to 30 second exposure and the ferris wheel is spinning around and that's what you get so you've got this crazy looking thing just spiraling around and it's very very dreamlike because of course when you're there you're not seeing it like this you're seeing the ferris wheel turning rather slowly and this way it just looks like a big wheel that's just spinning like crazy dreamlike light trails from cars another way to show something that you will not be seeing with your naked eye this way and it is kind of dreamlike and also because i'm using an aperture of f16 or f22 the street lights have those pinpoints of light those star lights in them and that's very dreamlike and surreal as well motion don't forget to use motion here's another way to create that effect this is motion by pushing your camera up and down at a relatively show, slow shutter speed and it can create a force that looks like this and finally for dreams i mean when do we do most of our sleeping well it's at night right so darkness Darkness can really add something to your photos. Now, in this case, this photo was made up of about 15 or 20 different photos. It's a composite, and I've put it all together. None of it makes any sense, except to me, obviously, but to know that none of it exists in real life. It's all different stuff from different photos that I've taken, but it's that darkness that creates a dreamlike effect. Darkness, again, the unknown, the shadows, the dark alley what's going on beyond the shadows beyond those bins on the right hand side what's happening isn't that often what's in your dreams like what's around the corner what's there i'm not talking about nightmares necessarily but you know the dreams that tend to be bordering on a little bit dark the ones that are edging that direction darkness nighttime can really add to a dreamlike effect nighttime again can add to a dreamlike effect this actually taking place during the day this photo but me darkening it down and making it appear kind of like night i hope that gave you a few ideas for some dreamy effects for your, some of your next projects coming up until next time i'm ray scott reminding you it's not what you see it's how you see it and i'll see you soon